Hey, my name is Kevin Lozarco. I am a percussion teacher, band director at Sepulpa Public Schools. Here to just talk a little bit about these uh, crotales. Basically, they are a bell-type instrument with um, just like a dinging sound, just like bells, and they are scale-wise. So they work just like a piano or just like a marimba, any kind of keyboard instrument. If you're confused on what note is, is on there, they're right underneath. They're written right underneath. Um, the important thing about these is you want a very sturdy stand when you're going to bow them, like we're going to talk about here in just a second. Um, if you don't have a sturdy stand, you're trying to bow up them, they're going to shake and they're going to jiggle. Fortunately, we have a really sturdy stand here, so it's going to be it's going to work out really well. Um, what we're going to use today are bass bows. I think they're the best kind of bows to use on this. They're bigger, they're sturdier, they have more, um, have more hairs on them, so they're going to give you a better sound when you're trying to bow with them. One of the most important things is rosin. If you don't use rosin on these bows, they are not going to work very well. And you have to, you just have to have them nice and sturdy, and you have to have rosin so that they will um, have a good contact with the crotale. So, um, what I'm going to bow today is a D sharp and a D, and we're going to use those two notes. Again, if you don't know where they are, it's right underneath. It's just like a keyboard. I like to do this from the back. If I do it toward the front. I have a really bad tendency to come out like that, and I just think it's a lot sturdier if you have them up or have them out in the front and just come straight up with it. Make sure you have a nice tight grip on the on the top of the bows here. I'm not going to hold them like I would if I was playing, you know, a bass. I like to keep them down and a really sturdy grip. And these should be, if you have them on a good stand, they shouldn't move around unless unless you're doing something wrong. So I'm going to have a tight grip here. I'm going to play D and D sharp, and I'm gonna just bow right up with a pretty good grip on the bows. Here we go. Yeah, that wasn't bad. What I'm gonna do to change that a little bit, I'm gonna make sure I'm keeping my bows coming straight up. On this one, I kinda of came out a little bit and it stopped the sound a little bit. So I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna grip a little bit harder, and I'm gonna put a little bit more force from the bow up against the crotales. I'll do that one more time and make it a little bit louder, put a little bit more force on it. Good, I saw just then I had a, this note was moving, that can happen sometimes. If you don't have the hairs of the bow even on the crotale and you're trying to bow it, it's gonna turn. So it's really important to have both, basically the whole, the whole hair of the bow has to be even right on it. So I'll do that one more time and I'll try to keep it real straight. Yeah, that worked a lot better. And that's basically how we bow.